tried to forgive my enemies, but not forgive them. <laughs>
And he said he did it, and he made the point that every person sitting in that panel is convinced your client is guilty. But doing that, he was able to turn around that incredible bias and get a not guilty. Now, Racehorse, besides being charming and kind to young lawyers and being a great mentor, would, um, <clears throat> well, let me put it this way. In 1984, a bunch of folks sitting in my table over here along with me, purchased the old Haynes and Fulton Fiber building at 2701 Family. And the first thing he asked us when we were getting ready to move in, he goes, who's gonna move into my office? And we kind of looked at each other and he goes, there's a lot of luck in that office. Randy McDonald sat in that office. So, I wanted, to, I wanted to talk about my best friend in law school, flew down from New York City to be here with me. And he was very instrumental in my development as a criminal defense lawyer because he would keep me awake in Dean Newell Blakely's criminal law class. You know, he'd elbow me, hey, get up, get up. It's time to, it's time to recite. And I, I think invited, I don't know how many folks from the old 2701 Bannon building, the old Racehorse Haynes building, and incredible group of guys helped me in my journey as a trial lawyer. And um, the other thing I want, I want to impart is looking out over this room, I see an incredible number of faces that have an impact on my life. I see prosecutors who have tried cases with. I see defense lawyers who pat me on the back on a daily basis and give me the opportunity to pat them on the back. And I want to kind of leave with this last word. 47 years of doing this equals I am a very happy warrior, and I intend to do it for 47 more. <laughs>